Payday 3 will add solo mode, still requiring online connection, soon alongside NVIDIA DLSS 3 support. In a recent Payday 3 developer diary, Starbreeze announced the upcoming additions due with the patch scheduled to go live on Thursday, June 27. One of the highlights is undoubtedly the arrival of the solo mode, as a beta, that franchise fans have long awaited, though it will still require an online connection for the time being. Payday 3 Global Brand Director and Head of Community Almer Listo explained. It's not our full vision for this feature. For now, we're setting it as a beta to test how it runs. Was expect performance to be affected since the parts normally front-loaded by our servers will now have to be run on your own hardware. It will work, though, and you can get progression that'll update you once you return online. You will still be required to start the game while online in solo mode, which will be improved once was improved this feature. For now, though, was one to test that the features that went into this work work properly. Before the next iteration of the feature, was hope we'll have hosted co-op and all that cool stuff. Keep in mind this is not an offline mode. It's a solo mode where the portions of the game previously hosted on our servers are now hosted on your device. Bear in mind that this is a stepping stone for a feature to come, not something we're releasing and calling done. The upcoming Payday 3 update will also introduce support for NVIDIA DLSS 3 on PC, previously confirmed but mysteriously absent at launch. The ability to rename Loadout, a free new playable character, Clover, two weapons, Clover Signature Gun and the LMG, three masks, 12 flag stickers, and one charm. Payday 3 didn't have a successful launch, and part of that was due to lackluster matchmaking. Starbreeze is preparing a new matchmaking service that should be ready by the end of the year, providing a better online experience for everyone.